Hello and welcome into Versus Podcast. Uh, my name is Matt and joining me today is the whole Versus Pod team. Uh, we just would like to say thank you guys for tuning into this episode. We greatly appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're all back together, boys. How we feeling? How we doing? Feels great. Feels great to be in person with you boys, podcasting it up. You know, first yeah. one with all the yeah. boys. Yes, sir. It first, of, first of many. Yes, sir. First of many. Let's first go. one with Garrett in person. Yeah, no, it's yep. gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yes, well, sir. as you can see, we're a little tighter. Uh, we're trying to figure out a better setup. So bear with us through this one. Um, but we will make sure to try to find a better setup for next time. But um, let's get straight into the Q and A today. We're talking about all NFC West predictions. So uh, thanks again for sending in your questions. If you have any questions in the future, uh, just make sure to follow us on Instagram to have those at versus podcast underscore. First question comes from Harrison Martin, and he asks, "Do these teams get better or worse overall this season?" Garrett, what do you think? Yeah, I just think most of them over overall got worse. I don't really see any significant changes with um, any of the teams getting better. I only saw um, the only big move that I really saw was the 49ers extending Debo Samuel, and that really doesn't do anything. Um, that doesn't really add any new players or weapons. Um, the Rams got worse. Um, they did get... Bobby Wagner, but I don't really think that makes up for the other losses that they had offensively. Um, and then as well as the Seahawks, obviously they just got worse. I feel like the Cardinals, they're kind of still in the same spot, but they did lose DeAndre Hopkins technically to a suspension, so it's not really. Shout out to the Cardinals. Wore the shirt today for them. Um, I didn't think of that. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> you're not even so, representing. Yeah, shout, shout out to the Cardinals. But um, overall, this division <laughs> definitely got worse, in my opinion. Um, I think if you look across the board, even the Cardinals got worse. I think that their de- defense will be tremendously worse this season without Chandler Jones. I mean, the only hope that they have is that J.J. Watt stays healthy on defense. And are we really going to think that J.J. Watt is going to stay healthy? <laughs> no. So, I mean, they, they're, they're, there's, there's really no hope. I mean, I, there's they don't have a defensive line. They don't have cornerback position, in my opinion. Um, and so I think that, I mean, the Rams lost Von Miller. I mean, they lose Odell Beckham unless he decides to come back. I mean, he was a huge part of their Super Bowl run. So uh, I like the addition of Allen Robinson for the Rams. I mean, obviously, we'll see what happens with the 49ers. They might get better if they believe in Trey Lance enough, if he is who they think he's going to be. And then, obviously, like, the Seahawks got tremendously worse. Like, losing Russell Wilson, <laughs> your, your starter now is Geno Smith. Like, you are a worse off football team. Def- yeah, uh, you guys pretty much said everything. I mean, Seahawks are going to be probably the worst team in the league this year, if not the closest. So they're, they're tanking the division. Um, I don't think the Cardinals got better. The Ram- I don't think the Rams got worse. Because, I mean, they lose OBJ, but they get Allen Robinson. Yeah, they lost. I, I, I should have I should have said defensively because um, yeah. they did lose Robert Woods, but that's not really a big deal. They still have Stafford and Cup, but the defensive line they lost a couple Sebastian guys. Joseph yep, yeah, yeah the, he's yeah. he's really good, but he's on the Chargers now. So I feel like um, Bobby Wagner is like he's a good leader on defense. But plus Aaron Donald might get suspended. We don't even know about that yet. But he's probably not. But probably not. one thing I heard it, I heard it was like gosh, up to I the team. So. Yeah, that's oh, what I heard too. yeah. Gosh, then he's not getting. Yeah. He's not getting. Gosh, suspended. I hope he gets suspended. <laughs> <laughs> he really did. Yeah, <laughs> they're not gonna suspend him, especially for like yeah. first game back from winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. In LA, Thursday night, first game of the year, so they're not going to suspend it for that game. I will say, uh, I know there's talk about Matthew Stafford's arm, a little <laughs> concerned there, so maybe that hinders them this year. And then for the 49ers, I don't think you can say they got worse. It's more of like, how, what is Trey Lance going to show us? Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't think you can say this division got yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Honestly, I don't think anybody got better. I mean, I think. 49ers are basically where they were last year. I don't think they got worse or better. They're kind of like at a stalemate. Um, sea chickens, honestly. Oh, Seahawks. I call them sea chickens. Seahawks. Um, honestly, it makes my day that they're going to be awful this year. I cannot stand them. They'll still, they'll stand. still find a way to beat the Cardinals once, once. this year, though. Oh, don't you say mm-hmm. that. Don't. Oh, oh shoot. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, Puker always finds a way to beat us. But... Seahawks got really got way worse. Um, 49ers, I don't think they got better or worse. I don't think they lost anyone on defense, did they? No. I mean, they, re- they re-signed no, Debo. Yeah, no, 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 like, big names. Yeah. They're basically the same team as they were yeah. last year. Um, 
Cardinals, I would say their offense would have gotten better if D Hop didn't get suspended six games with the addition of Hollywood Brown and then a backup and Trey McGride. And then our offensive line is basically the same. Yeah. And then basically our back our backfield's basically the same. I will say this defense took a little hit with Chandler Jones leaving. Um A little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um I mean I have confidence in our defense, but de- our defense is why. <laughs> our defense. Why? Our defense is what's gonna make or break our season. I'll get into that. I'll get into that a little bit. But, Trey. Yeah. Um, Nobody got better. Nobody got better. Yeah, I have nothing to add from yeah. you guys. Really, I mean, yeah. I think, I think the Cardinals offense just get they get a little better, but obviously their defense is gonna be, I think, like no. bottom tier in the league. Um, Rams again, exactly what all you guys said. Seahawks suck. Um, the one thing about the 49ers, like, I think I'm right on this. Isn't Kyle Shannon now recalling plays? Yeah, he's because Mike McDaniels left, so yeah. he's the... Yeah, so I think, like, I don't know. It's I think it would be interesting to see, like, the adjustment of coming back to it. I think it would be, I think it yeah. would be tough to, like, readjust back into it because, obviously, the like, NFL is changing consistently, like, more passing, different kinds of plays. So, yeah. yeah, I think they might, like, stall on offense for a little bit, but especially which really depends on Trey Lance. Obviously. He'll figure it out some way. Oh, yeah. All right, next question. Blake Dolan asks us, is D-Hop, let's take away injuries, let's take away suspension, is okay. D-Hop still a top 10 wide receiver in the NFL? Caleb, we'll start with you. Yeah, based I'm off sorry, reaction. Blake. I do not respect that question. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love you. I love that's you, a disrespectful <laughs> question that's, right that's there. That's a disrespectful <laughs> question. Um, of course. Of course. He's definitely a top 10 wide receiver in the league. No question. I mean, yeah, he'll be away six games, but... Yeah, clearly. Clearly. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave that a disrespectful. I'm just gonna leave that right there. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's top ten. I don't. I think he's in that five to ten range. So I don't think he's. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, th- I think the argument is is he top five? Like instead oh, of top yeah. ten. Top, top. Okay, no, that's but, a good question. but I'm just no, saying like. That's a good five. question. If if the question should be more like is he a top five <laughs> receiver because like yeah. when he's healthy he. The Cardinals are a tremendously better team when he's on the field. Oh, like it's insane how much Literally, better they are. And he team. makes college so much better. Yeah. Cause yeah, because yeah. Kyler's not very good. So Dev? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I, didn't <laughs> Dev? I think yeah, you can't say he's not a top ten player, but yeah, I personally have him at like seven or eight, probably. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. that is just because he's getting up there in age and yeah, yeah, he's had some injuries. So I say six, six. I give him right okay. behind five. <laughs> okay, right behind five. That's good. That's good. He is thirty, so that's why. If he was like twenty eight, I probably would put him top five. You're he's a little older. Well, what would I put him? Yeah. Probably about seven, eight. Yeah. I mean, I think he's definitely top ten. But I mean, yeah. you, like you have Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson that came in, and then oh, you yeah. have people like Cooper Cup who had the season he had left. That's three right there. Diggs, Diggs, yeah. Yeah. Adams. Devontae Adams. Yeah, there's. It's so... hard. It's tough. But mm-hmm. um, next question from Blake Dolan as well. He asked, "Is Cliff on the hot seat?" Let me start this one off. <laughs> yeah, Cliff. <laughs> The fact that Cliff is not on the hot seat, the answer is no to this question. He's not on the hot seat because he signed an extension yeah. last, last offseason when he took a team barely to the playoffs and had one of the worst playoff performances I've ever witnessed. He should be on the hot seat, but the, the answer is no. He's not on the hot seat. The Cardinals want to stick with him. The Cardinals have shown that they're going to stick with him through this, and there's no reason for me to think that. Unless it goes, like, unless this team wins, like, four or five games this year, which is not out of the question. It's not out of the question for this team to win four or five games is the only way I see Cliff getting fired. Yeah. No, Cliff Cliff definitely should be on the hot seat. I have I have a picture right here pulled up. Um, in 2019, his first year as a Cardinal head coach, they went 3-3-1 three, three, and one the, through the first seven games, and they went 2-7 and seven for the rest of the year. 2020, they went 5-2 and two through the first seven games. Then the rest of the year, they went 3-6. and six. And then last year they started seven and zero for the first seven games, and then finished four and seven. So he clearly does not know how to finish, or maybe like they just get figured out offensively through throughout the year. But like he's definitely got to come up with a different strategy. I'm kind of excited because during the season there'll be um, the hard knocks throughout the season, so yeah. that'll be fun to watch. Yeah, but yeah, I think. I think they just, he's, he's just got to figure it out. Him and Kyler, they need to figure out a, a consistent offensive plan that doesn't get figured out halfway through the season. Yeah, I mean, you guys said everything perfectly. He definitely should be, but he's not, and I feel like part of that is because 
Kyler gets all the blame. Now, I'm not saying he shouldn't be blame free, but when things go wrong, wrong, we see Kyler getting all the heat. Yeah. And I'm sure he does get heat, but it's not nothing like we've seen. I'd say locally, Cliff gets a lot of hate. Locally, but like on a, a, yeah, but a national, bigger media level, it's, it's always Kyler. Yeah. 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 Does true. not get enough hate. He should get more hate. Yes. Uh, Cliff. No, Cliff. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cliff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Caleb? Yeah, I mean, I agree. I think he should be in the hot seat. I don't think he's the right guy for Kyler, me personally. But honestly, he's Cliff is actually a really cool guy. Like, <laughs> he's a cool guy. I'm just going to say it. He's, like, playing he's a the really cool, nice guy. Play the cool guy card. Yeah, I'm not, I have no disrespect <laughs> to Cliff. I, he's a nice guy. I like him. But can oh, I didn't know nice guys win <laughs> Super Bowl. So. It's, this is a, I'm just saying he's a nice guy. You know guy. who Bill Belichick is? Hey, I'm just saying he's a nice guy. Okay. Yeah, Sean McVay, all-time nice guy. <laughs> Super Bowl, so hey, you never know. No, Cliff's a good dude, but I, uh, I just don't think he can coach in the NFL. It, yeah, he just he can't make adjustments mid during the season, yeah. and you need that in the NFL, especially if you want to go deep in the postseason. Yeah. yeah, I think he should be on the hot seat. I agree. I unfortunately I don't think he is, but because I think Michael Bidwell really likes the guy, but um, he's a good guy. He, <laughs> I just said it before, he's a cool guy, but. Yeah, he's not, he's not a good coach. I don't think he should be future coach of the Cardinals. And for Kyler. Trey? Yeah. Yeah, obviously, I think he should be on the hot seat. But I think I think he's a good scheme fit for Kyler. I don't think he's a good head coach for Kyler. Like, yeah. I think he could be the OC mm. for Kyler. Or, like, if he was the OC in, like, San Fran, like, I think he would I think he would do well because I think there would be someone above him. Like, I think with, like, Shanahan, like, Shanahan could make adjustments for him and, like, suggest things. Kyler needs a dad. He doesn't need a best friend. Mm-hmm. Kyler needs a man. <laughs> Kyler, because Kyler tends to have bad attitudes. Do you think? Tense? I feel like well, always. He, yeah, he has bad attitudes. So he needs a man who will say, you know what, man up. I feel like Bruce Arians would have been of, perfect to be yeah, Kyler's exactly. coach. Like a, yeah, exactly. Like a BA. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, got colorful. Like, BA, like, yeah, BA, BA would smack yeah. him in the face if, like, yeah. He started acting up like the whole like unfollowing Instagram situation. Yeah. Ba would just like be like, "You're an idiot." You yeah, know? he needs that. He doesn't need a best friend. I feel yeah. like Cliff is more like a buddy buddy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Next question. Jackson Trotter asks us: Is there any potential challenger in this division to the Rams? Trey. <laughs> um, I I don't know. The Forty ers I think could like get them. I think they'll probably go five hundred in the regular season. But like NFL is tough because it's just one game and anybody can almost be anybody. But. Rams are obviously the I'm I'm not a Niners fan. I'm not a Trey Lance fan either. I don't think he's it. I don't and neither is Jimmy G. Are the Cardinals a potential challenger to the Rams? Oh um, <laughs> Yeah, I say yes. I say yes. Beginning it depends off watchy. Yeah, I'll say yes. I feel here's like the only we thing have I say. But here's the only thing I'll say. And we can get into the Cardinals more obviously. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you just brought up a point where um, through the first, what is it, seven games first seven of the games. year? Yeah. All right, let me read you the first seven games of the Cardinals' schedule. Listen to this. Listen to the schedule. We play at home against the Chiefs, at Le- at the Las Vegas Raiders, against the Los Angeles Rams, at Carolina, against the Philadelphia Eagles, at Seattle, which we know how tough it is to play in Seattle, even though we've been talking about it. Then, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, and then they play against the New Orleans Saints. Then you finally get D-Hop back. But you still have at Minnesota, then Seattle again, then at the Rams, then you play the Niners, and then you play the Chargers. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, I mean, I think that the Cardinals could be a better team if it wasn't for their schedule. But, I mean, yeah. I, just, yeah. I just don't see them challenging the Rams at all with that schedule. No. No, I mean, I think they could. So, my records, we'll get into that later. But I, I clearly see the Niners being the challenger to the Rams. I even have the Niners winning the division this year. Oh. Um, the Rams, the Rams, they're they're not they're not looking good. I, I trust that Sean McVay can at least get him to ten wins, but I think I think Trey Lance is the guy. I think I think the 49ers can really challenge them. They have a good run game. They always have have had a good run game. Um, they got the weapons on offense and they have a really solid defense, like always. So I feel like I feel like they'll win the division this year. Def, um, I don't think they're gonna win the division, but. If there is a challenger, it's going to be the Niners. I mean, I think regardless, even if Trey Lance doesn't go out and play the best, we've seen with the 49ers that they, it doesn't matter. Like, they don't need top-tier talent to produce and make the playoffs. And, like, their run game's unstoppable, regardless of who's back there. So, Especially with Debo. Like, all the jet sweeps and all that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say the 49ers will compete. 
Yeah. All right, next question. Shout out Steve Mack for this question. Yeah. He asks us, hey. who will have a better record, the Sea Chickens or the 49ers? <laughs> <laughs> like father, like son right there. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can all, we can I, all yeah, agree that the, the 49ers, 49ers, yeah, 49ers, the Seahawks, yeah. Seahawks are not competing. I think, I the, love the, Seahawks. I think the Seahawks might be the worst team in the league. Yeah. I, I think yeah. So. They're really bad. Watson Drew Locke throw like, it's what, like uh, In the NFC, it's, it's got to be either them or the Falcons. In my opinion. Oh, guys. The Falcons are not as terrible team that you're making them out yeah. to be. I, I, I think, the well, are you based on the Falcons? I think we're, thinking, I think we're forgetting yeah. the Lions. The Lions. The Lions. The Lions. The Lions. No, the Lions are going to be good. The Lions are going to be good. The Lions are going to be better than they were last year. And they got worse, but that's besides the point. We're not talking about the Falcons. I wouldn't yet, have so. the Lions up too much. Yeah, Niners are clearly better than the Seahawks this year. Yes. All right, let's dive a little bit deeper into the 49ers. We've kind of talked about them. Garrett, you've kind of talked about how you think that Trey Lance is going to be the guy for the 49ers. Do you think that he'll be the guy enough to help them compete for a Super Bowl this year, or do you think it's going to take him a couple of years? Um, I think I think really the run game and defense can carry him to a Super Bowl like that one year against when they played the Chiefs, and it, it did carry him last year to the NFC Championship where they fell short. Honestly, like I like Trey Lance. I really want him to succeed. But Jimmy G, like, as – as much flack and hate as he gets, he's a winner. Like he wins mm-hmm. football games. Yep. He, he's he's a winner. You can look at his record as a starter for the 49ers. It is a lot better than you think it is. So I, I think they have like a hole to fill. Um, I'm glad they re-signed him because, you know, I think I think he can I think he can still succeed there if something happens to Trey Lance if it just doesn't work out. But I think Trey Lance can can really make this team a lot better. Can I hate on Jimmy G? What? <laughs> it's the system. It is. Like, that's why he's a winner, is the 49ers system. I think that's He did it with trade. the Patriots. That's still a system. System. 49ers and Patriots are the two biggest systems in the NFL. I mean, look at Mac Jones. No, I'm just like. No, it's yeah. It's exactly. the system. That's why he's a winner. And, I like, he doesn't buy you in anything. And I get, like, you know, he shows up. Like, he can, he can show up in big moments. But I think that's why Trent is going to be so much better in the system because he's so much more talented than Jimmy G. So, like, why didn't the quarterbacks before Jimmy G, like, not work out? Alex Smith? No, I'm talking oh, about, like, hands? no, uh, what was his name? C.J. Beathard. It wasn't C.J. Beathard. <laughs> but, like, even, like, Shout out to Hawkeye. Yeah. But, like, when yeah, Jimmy like, G goes down, like, they're winning games. No, they're not. not. They're not. I would argue think, think about that 2020 season when he went down and they had injuries all over the place. I know it was everywhere. It was everywhere. Yeah. But they it, was, yeah. it was just quarterback. But, that's, but when Jimmy G's in the game, they're winning games. It's yeah. also... If you are a, 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 a what's the word that what does people call Tom Brady sometimes like a, a assistant quarterback? No, that's not a quarterback. Like a time game time manager, game manager. manager. When you're a game manager and you're in the 49ers system, you're set. Yeah, that's what Jimmy Garoppolo yeah. is. So if Baker they, Mayfield they is on the 49ers, the 49ers are not doing what they're doing. I, I think they are. That I think what? They are. Jimmy? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! We're saying that Jimmy G is not that much better than Baker Mayfield. What are we no. talking about here? No, he's proved nothing. Look at the weapon. Uh, who he cares went, about the system? Went. Look at the weapons that were in Cleveland. Bro. Look at it. Jimmy G. Who, who was Jimmy G? Have you, behind Debo Samuel, a wide wide receiver. You can't give Jimmy G credit for anything. He's a Why? Bro. He wins games. Yeah, he's a he winner. Wins games? He's yes. a winner. No. He's a winner. Let me talk for twenty seconds. He doesn't screw his team okay. over. That's how he wins games. So you told me when they came in Super Bowl, when they came into Lambeau three years ago, and they're rushing, their their running backs have like two hundred plus yards, all the touchdowns. And, yeah. and Jimmy Garoppolo threw, like, four pla- completed passes that he was the reason for that. Yeah, do what, do what works. So throwing four four for, like, 13. He, he didn't screw his team? If, he if throw, Aaron Rodgers didn't throw anything. If what it took for, say, say you put um, Aaron Rodgers in that like situation. Defense, right? if, you, yes. if you Say you were to ask Aaron Rodgers if he only had to throw the ball, like, nine times in one game, he would, like, say, thank God. You know? But He's a winner. I don't know if that's true. You can't, you his can't. His team's a winner. Jimmy He's a Devin, winner. He, Devin, just so you know, just Jimmy G wins more games in the playoffs than your team has in the last couple of years, so I wouldn't be talking. They have a better system. Their team. Yeah, their oh team's better. Gosh, man. Their, te- their defense is always uh, top tier. Sure. And their but one game is always the Niners, top the Niners, tier. The, Niners, the Niners should not have won against the Packers. They're going to win the Super Bowl this year. The Niners should not have won the against the Packers. I think more year. talented than the 49ers, so I don't know what you're saying that for. It's 49ers have a better system. Okay. Better. For, okay. Systems systems aren't everything, guys. Yeah, like, that's, big, why, that's why they can't He's a winner. Super Bowl yet because they don't have a quarterback. He's a winner. And Trey Lance is that guy? No, I think he could be. He's not. I don't think he. Is. He's more talented than Jimmy G. I'm saying neither are. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just okay. saying neither are. I'm Caleb's not a believer. Are. I'm not a four. All right. Believer. 
All right, let's, Rams or let's move. Let's move over to the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Jack Dewey asks us, "Do you think that Drew Locke will get any chances in any games this year, Garrett?" Yeah, I mean he has to. He traded for him. Um, <laughs> Geno Smith, I think he's like a solid guy. He kind of did okay when he filled in for Russell Wilson last year. Um, but yeah, Drew Locke. I feel like he, when when he was at Denver, he he would have flashes of just like. Wow, this guy is just, you know, like, he has the arm, but, like, the process, that the way he reads the field and the information that he takes in and the decisions that he makes are just not the best. Like, he, he's just not a good decision maker in the heat of the moment. He'll have these good throws and on occasion, but I feel like the Seahawks are the perfect, perfect spot for him to be because, like, nothing matters there. Yeah. Um, just send him to the shadow realm and see what he does, see what he does there, but I... I I think he'll get a chance, but, yeah. I mean, Pete Carroll has said how he has two quarterbacks. That's what he keeps on saying. I mean, they named Gino, Gino the starter, and he keeps on saying how he has two quarterbacks, but it doesn't mean he has good quarterbacks. But that I yeah. think I think he has to get a chance. I mean, like, I don't think that they're going to be, like, so wowed by Geno Smith that they're like, we're going to put him out every single game. So I think that there will be chances for both of them. Yeah. I mean, kind of just to add on to what you guys said, I kind of feel like Geno Smith is kind of like a Tyrod Taylor. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. He's no, not like skill wise. Situation wise, situation wise, like something, something's gonna happen. Gino's gonna get injured. Yeah. Gino's gonna have like a stretch of bad games, and they're gonna throw Drew Lock in there. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm not a Drew Lock believer, but I think he deserves like another shot. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Why Seahawks? He didn't take out this last game. I'm pretty sure he threw like three interceptions. But the first two games, I don't think he played terrible. No, but that's preseason, and also he literally had everything in front of him in Denver. He had a great defense. Yeah, he had all the weapons. Yeah. He had he had he decent running chance. backs, and 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 nothing happened. Like he uh, yeah. he couldn't even lead him to like a wild card, let alone like second place. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. No, this, where was that quarterback? They're not going to be. Yeah. Good, so. He's had his chances. I I yeah. think his time is done. Drew Lock getting a chance? How, okay. Well, first, I gotta say something. How is Pete Carroll still a coach in Seattle? Mm. Like they're awful. Like you can't find one I don't, new player. I don't oh, think. I take that back. I don't but. think. I don't think he's a bad coach. No, right. Pete Carroll. No, he's a. I'm just. He's a very good coach. But I'm just saying, like they're so bad. I'm so. He's. he's no, but it's fault. not really his fault. It's just yeah. a talent. Talent. Uh, he's what eighty. They like talent gap style. situation. Yeah. Once once like, their defense like, started deteriorating towards the end. I mean, you see, kinda, like, like, once that happened, they knew that they had to get rid of Russell Wilson because they weren't yeah. going to get I'm just kind of learning, like, you see, like, some, like, these dynasties, like, these ends, like, you see Sean Payne, like, Drew, Drew Brees retired, Sean Payne tried out one year, and then now he's gone. I mean, that could, that could Russell that Wilson's could gone, yeah. like, I could see maybe Pete Carroll leave. Maybe he won't, but yeah. I, just, I just had to mention I that. Say, I, it would be interesting to see because, I mean, if they get a top pick and are able to get one of the elite quarterbacks that are going to be coming yeah. out, that yeah. he yeah. might have to a good stick. quarterback they class that's well coming in, too. could very well get, like, Bryce Young next year or something like that. Yeah. 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 But anyway, um, I think Drew Lock will play for sure. I mean, see him and Geno Smith. I mean, I don't think there's no way he's not gonna get any games. Yeah. To try to like when when the Broncos blow him out, um, week one, they'll have a chance yeah. to throw in Drew Lock in garbage in garbage he'll, time. He'll get plenty of opportunities. I think he'll get more opportunities than what we think he will. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, I think there'll be an opportunity. The one thing I was going to say was what Garrett said. It's like he already had his best chance. Yeah. 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 All right, in the next segment, we'll get into our NFC West predictions. We are ready to see how much Caleb was hyped up. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's get right into our NFC West predictions. I will get us started here. Um, At the top, number one, Rams, 13-4. and Have a great season ahead. Uh, Number two, I got the 49ers at 11-6. and I think that Trey Lance, I mean, we've talked about it. You guys think... 49ers is the best system ever, whatever. Um, but I think that he'll he'll do enough to not keep them from making the playoffs. Um, and then number three, I got the Cardinals at six and eleven. Uh, they have uh, that one, one of the. Hurts. That one dagger. They, they have schedule. yeah, they they have one of the toughest schedules. I mean, they have to play all the NFC West and all the AFC West. I just don't see the Cardinals competing, especially when you have D Hop out the first six games. Is it six or eight? Six. Six. <laughs> yeah, six. So I got the Cardinals at six and eleven, and then I have the Seahawks at three and fourteen. Just because I know that they're going to win one game against the Cardinals because they always do that. So yeah, yeah. All right, uh, I got the Rams thirteen and four. Um, I think they're going to be right up there um, in the Super Bowl race. Um, I got the Forty ers ten and seven. Um, I think I think they'll be a wild card for sure. Cardinals. I wrote eight and nine, but. 
after rehearing and rehearing the schedule, my mind keeps going lower. I'm going seven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can keep it at eight. <laughs> I'm going seven. You can keep it at eight. That might be the most what's, nicest of my record. What's yet. what's the difference between seven and ten and eight and nine? Because that's, that, that's not in the playoffs either way. No. <laughs> Fair enough. It just looks better on the record. I'm going Seahawks. We're seeing the league two and 15. Yeah, so I'll start start off with the Niners at eleven and six at the top of the division. I think they'll I think they'll be the best team in the division this year. Um, then I got the Rams at ten and seven. I just don't think they'll be um, the best as 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 they were last year. Um, unless they get Odell back, you know, I think that'll be that'll help them a lot. Odell's gonna change that. <laughs> I mean, it, it would help a, it would help a lot, but. Um, no, I think, I think Sean McVay is a good enough coach to get that team to ten and seven. I just don't, I just don't like what happened in the off season to the Rams. They lost too many key guys. Um, then I got the Cardinals at eight and nine. Um, you know, <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> hey, Honestly, hey. Like, that's respect like their that. ceiling. Yeah, that's their ceiling. You know, I, I was, I was you very, right when now. I was looking at their, <laughs> I was looking at their schedule. I was very generous. For you, Kale. That's just a friend being a friend. Yeah, I respect that. I did that I for you. That. Um, that. And then I got Seahawks at three and fourteen. I mean, yeah, there's nothing really much to talk about there, but yeah. Dev. Yeah, yep, I got the Rams on top, eleven and six. I think they're gonna be a little worse than last year. And then I got the 49ers in second at nine and eight. I think. The system will carry them to 9 and 8. I'm so tired <laughs> of the system, system crap. Uh, Cardinals, I got 6 and 11. Almost went 5 and 12, but... Wow! I'm going to give them the, the game against the Patriots at home. And yeah, then... I expect that. Thank you. <laughs> and then I got Seahawks like at, at 2 It's like Christmas, bro. Yeah. All right, let's hear the most biased take. All right, time. so... I just got to start this off. It is so hard for me to put the Rams at first because I just do not like the Rams at all. Like, I know, like, that's really biased and it's not correct at all, but I just, I can't stand them. But I had to. It's the podcast. So, anyway, I have the Rams at 13 and 14. 13 and 4. Okay. 13 and 14. Okay. 13 and 4. I had to. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Cardinals had second. At ten and seven. Oh, okay. That's ten not seven. terrible. Honestly, yeah, that's not seven. terrible. That's I not terrible. I was like, okay, ten and seven will make the wild card. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild not terrible. That's not as bad as I thought you were okay, gonna say, yeah, but right. it's still gonna be wrong. Okay, ten and seven. Hey, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Where do you see ten wins? Um. Chiefs. Okay, let's go game one. Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs. Oh, lost. Okay. Raiders. Win. How? Wait, hold on. All the wins you have losses. Okay. Alright, it's so one one one. One one. Rams. Uh loss. Panthers. Win. Eagles. Win. How? <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry. At Seattle. What am I at? Uh win. Four and one? Da, da, da. Oh your wins, your wins. Your losses. You have it. You have losses. Four and two. Four and two. Okay. But I just yeah. say, uh, say Rams. 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 Rams, um, I'll give it Wait, no, 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 no. We said Seahawks, and then we said, then Saints. Oh, my bad. Um, win. <laughs> At Minnesota. Lose. Okay. Seattle. Win. We're not losing to the Seahawks, okay? At right. LA. Oh, uh, we're getting swept by the Rams. We can't beat the Rams. San Fran. In Mexico City. Did you already City. play San Fran? Or was this the first Oh, that's in Mexico City? City? Yep. We're winning that... because we're in no. Mexico. No. 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 <laughs> we're winning. We're winning. No, dude. Yeah, Chargers. Lose. Justin Herbert's insane. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, where am I at right now? We're at eight and five. Eight and five? <laughs> Why are you... Patriots. Why, Why do you need to know that? Oh, we, did, we said Patriots. <laughs> Oh, my really at Denver. Denver. Uh, Denver uh, so you have to. Ha- so, so to be able to get to ten and seven, they would have to win at Denver. They'd have to beat the Buccan the Buccaneers, and they'd have to win in San Fran. I thought we were at eight. Yeah, you are. At yeah, you're at, you're so at, I'm ten. Eight. Yeah, you're at eight. So you have six, so you have them winning two of the three games between Denver, well, Tampa have, Bay, I'm and San Fran. Okay. Okay. I have um. Are we playing Buccaneers at home? Yep, Christmas I have Day. Them, okay, losing Buccaneers, okay. and I have them winning Falcons and winning 49ers. That's 10-7. That's 10-7. Yeah. See? Man, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Okay, continue. Continue. It's not as bad as I thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Continue okay. through it. Um, And then 49ers, 7-10. and 10. I don't believe it. Why? How? I don't believe it at all. Uh, Trey Lance is washed. Not um, a believer. How is he AKA. washed? <laughs> it's his second year in the league. Not a believer, a.k.a. I hate the 49ers. He's not washed. He's not washed. He's 
not Moss, but I just don't think he's gonna be that good. <laughs> um, and then Seahawks two and fifteen. They're really bad. They're terrible. Oh okay. yeah. So. That, that's I just don't understand. That's outrageous. <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> hey. What is it? <laughs> what is it about the 49ers that makes you think they're going seven and ten? I just don't think they're that good. How? He doesn't like anybody in the division. Caleb. I just don't like anyone in the division. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, it has nothing it's... to do with like reason. You just want them to go seven. No, and 10. I just really want them. Okay, to that's me and Jimmy G. I have no reason. I just hate it. Yeah, exactly. No, no, there's reason, man. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. Whatever. Devin, and I Devin's... actually, I seriously believe this. I don't think Trey Lance will be that good. Like, I seriously what? believe that. Like, he's that is washed. a strong belief. He's washed. He's washed. Okay, he's I didn't washed. think he's washed. Sorry, I didn't mean that. But I just don't think yeah, he's... Yeah, he's been in the league too long. He's washed. He's not his prime yeah. anymore. Yeah. No, I just, don't think he's, I just don't think he's good. I really don't think he's good. Okay. He was way over high okay. going in the draft. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. I guess we'll see you during the season. But. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you know. Also, the 49ers cut Trey Sermon. I'm pissed about that. I, did. I, I really, I really I wanted. Knew he was gonna be a bum, man. Yeah, he had terrible luck with. He had two concussions last year, which one of the hits was like actually really scary. But it sucks. Elijah Mitchell's their guy, right? Yeah. He's gonna be their starter. So yeah. yeah, he's solid. I don't know if they're gonna put Debo at running back that much. No. Yeah, probably but less. Yeah. He gets paid more. Cause, he does. cause, uh, he didn't like it too much when he yeah, was he holding out. A, he gets paid a lot more if he does. Yeah. But. All right, y'all got anything else to add? Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else to add. Who's, who's your breakout candidate for the Cardinals this year? Who's my breakout candidate for the Cardinals? Are we talking about, are we talking about like rookies, or are we just talking like any like person? anyone? Who, who's going off this year for the Cardinals? For offense, That's all of them, right? <laughs> I thought that would be nice. I would love that. Um, honestly, a really underrated guy who's went off during the preseason. You guys probably don't know who he is, but Greg Dortch. Oh my gosh, dude! Dude, he's a stud. He's literally yeah. a Greg Dortch. Greg Dortch. Book yeah, wow. No, okay. I think I think Hollywood Brown will have a good seat. We'll have a pretty solid season. I um, do Is Kyler Murray going to have an MVP solid. type season? What are you saying? Is Kyler Murray going to have an MVP type season? Uh, it depends how he finishes off the second half of the season. He always starts off so, real strong. So, I think he'll start off MVP season. It depends how he finishes. Okay. That's how I say it. I mean, I feel like that's pretty valid. That's valid. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Caleb, I'm really proud of you for how yeah. how you've been very... Guys, it took a lot of effort for me to say all this. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, but it I, was I, bet, I bet it did. <laughs> no, gosh. I bet it did. If the record was easier than what it is, yeah, they'd be like, Oh, yeah. my gosh, dude. <laughs> but also, Kyler Murray's a good quarterback. I want to end on that. I want to end on that. Top 15. Top 15. He's a mid-quarterback. Top 12. Top yeah, big difference there. Big difference. He's definitely not top ten, but he can, he can be yeah. top twelve. He's a, he's a mid quarterback. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. We'll, well, yeah, we'll see how he does this year. If he finishes the season, second half of the season off strong. He's too short. Defense, hey, don't, don't hate on this. He's guy. always been too short. He is pretty short. Everybody, go watch Rams versus Cardinals playoff wild card yeah, game that last was, year. Literally, I, that was awful. the worst was quarterback. Really that was, that was the worst quarterback quarterbacking performing. of all time. I'm not gonna deny that. That was really bad. That, that was, was fun bad. for me to watch. It yeah. was great. Time. <laughs> oh, I know. I'll try. Oh yeah, I know. It's a great time. Um. Yeah. I defense make or break our season. I feel like so. it'll break it. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> make or break our season. Make or break. I honestly think they'll be a little better than what people think they are. Ha. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. It's that's good. we're just going in circles. Team, that's my issue. It's the, it's the schedule. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I respect that. I so honestly tough, respect man. that. Our schedule is tough. I'm not gonna deny that. I'm True. not gonna deny that. That's why I put a record at ten and seven. Why I put a record at ten and seven. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Fair now, enough. <laughs> now before we wrap up, we always want to turn back to the Word of God and uh, just share passages of Scripture. So today I have Galatians one ten. And it says, "For am I now seeking the approval of man or of God, or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. I think that this is an important one to remember just because I think that it's easy for us to put like what's in this world more important than what's out, and what, than is what our relationship with God. So I think that it's just a good one that it's always been my favorite verse to turn, turn to and to know that we need to be putting Jesus first and be putting that relationship above anything else. Amen. So, That's great. Amen. all right, y'all got anything else? Good. No. No. That's it? I've, I've, yeah. said my, I've said what I've said. Now I feel great. I got that off my chest. You like the guy in The Mandalorian? I have spoken. I have spoken. <laughs> I have spoken. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys once again for tuning into this episode. We really appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe and also comment. We would greatly appreciate that. And we will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.